Hey everyone, I'm Neo King, and last time on Torrens Passage, we made it to the second world, Escarpa, and managed to get all the way to the bottom of the stairs, only to be blocked by this two-headed vulture as we tried to climb up the stairs behind it. And maybe I can just sneak past. Boo! Yeah, right. You know, he has only one thing on his mind, his stomach. Maybe some dead meat will come flying by here. You never know. Thanks for nothing. Okay, I'm obviously not going to be able to get past without some dead meat, which I don't have. And no, they won't eat poo. Surprisingly, that thought did occur to me. Anyway, there's one staircase left to try. It's kind of hidden back here, but let's see where it leads. Ah, it's a bridge across the chasm. Finally, we get to see what's on the other side. Well, well, what have we here? It's nice to see humility in somebody around here. Good day, sir. Yes, it is, isn't it? But then every day is a good day here in paradise. A land as lovely as this should be called paradise. Maybe it should, but we call it a scop. But the real question is, what do we call you? Oh, forgive me, sir. My name is Torin of the Lands Above. I am Rupert, King of Escarpa, and this is my lovely wife, Queen Di. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Alarmed, I'm sure. Eh? What's that? I said, charmed, I'm sure. Uh, that's nice. Yes, that's going to become a running gag. Also, I'm pretty sure that Portrait of That Pianist is a composer for the game, but nobody seems to know who. King Rupert, Queen Di, I am here seeking Licentia, an evil sorceress who may be in this area. Have you heard of her? I haven't heard of any Licentia. He hasn't heard of anything he can remember. What's that, my queen? I said, if you'd heard a thing, you'd have a dismembered. Yes, that's true. She's not here in Escarpa, young man. Perhaps she's in some other world below us. But you are welcome to stay here as my guest for as long as you wish. Thank you, your majesty. Do you know how to get to the worlds below Escarpa? It seems I recall a connection back when I was a young boy, but oh, lately we've seen no one at all from the other world. I don't know why. I, I, I suppose we've just lost touch. You can say that again. Eh? I missed that, Di. I said, I say, that's a sin. Well, yes, I suppose. <clears throat> I didn't realize you felt so strongly about foreign affairs. If you only knew. I cannot stay long in Escarpa. I must find Licentia. Yes, I understand. But in your travels, if you happen upon a young lady named Lena, would you give her a message? Of course, but how will I know her? What does she look like? Um, well, uh, Lena is, um, very tall. Um, yes, nearly as tall as you. And nearly as unsightly. Excuse me? I said she should call home nightly. Oh. Is Lena from Escarpa? Of course. She is my daughter. Oh, really? A princess? Has she been gone long? Only a few days, but parents worry nonetheless. I understand. I know what it's like to miss a loved one. Di, my dear, why don't you give this boy a piece of your jewelry? That way Lena will know he represents us. Oh, brother, are you right in his pocket? What was that? I said, tell her mother sent her this locket. Oh, yes. Good idea.
Here, Torin. Take this one. See? It has a picture of Rupert and me on the inside. I promise to keep it safe until I find her. No, well, can't say anything to them from this view. You mentioned a message for Lena, Your Majesty. Why, yes. Tell her to come home. We all miss her greatly. At least one of us. Eh? What's that you say, Di? I said, every last one of us. Oh. Well. Yes, that's right. So tell her that, my boy, if you happen upon her, that is. I will. All right, I think that's the end of it. I can't wait to meet Lena. I've never met a princess before. She is a wonderful child. So sweet-natured, I miss her greatly. <laughs> I can believe that. What was that? I said, uh, I can believe that you miss her. Hmm. Godspeed, Torin, and may our paths cross again soon. I don't think I ever heard that one before. I can't wait to meet Link. She is... Okay, so we're done there. Time for looting. And, of course, I see the object of my quest right over there on the table. I hope this isn't one of those buffets with a eat-all-you-take policy. But before getting out of here, I do notice those crystals hanging from the ceiling and casting an interesting rainbow across the wall. I love the artwork over your throne, Your Majesty. Why, thank you. But somehow I've always felt my shard collection was incomplete. As incomplete as your memory, you specious fool. What's that you say, darling? I said, no art can compete with our memories, my precious jewel. Oh, yes. Quite so, quite so. What do you think, boy? Isn't she something? Yes, that she is. But of course, the rainbow is missing specifically the color blue. And we happen to have a blue crystal shard from the lands above. Maybe it fits? Your Majesty, I can see you are a lover of crystals. Yes, that's the only kind he is. What did you say? I said, yes, and how kind he is. Why, thank you, dear. But continue, boy. I humbly offer you this gift from the lands above. I think it will balance your set of crystal shards. May I? Yes, of course. There. <clears throat> and as this one simple shard completes the connection between the formerly distinct spectra above us, so too, therefore, may our two worlds be connected by uh, the, uh, the, the peace and uh, understanding that uh, comes from, um, you know, it, like that there. Oh. Here, here. Bravo. I say, what the devil was the boy talking about, Di? Beats me. Di, what did you say? I said, beats me. Well, I'll consider it. Why, thank you, Torren. It's perfect. And in return, I'd like to present you with this invitation to next week's Royal Ball. Nice swap. Shard for free tickets, you cheapskate. What? What did you say, Di? I said, I hope he's still free at this late date. Oh. Yes, boy, do attend. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your crystal array looks beautiful, King Rupert. Yes, thanks to you, Torrent. All right, so we got an invitation to the Royal Ball. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, I can't open it. I just have to take their word and guess when the date is. There is one other thing that I need to look at in here. Hmm, I'd better not. 
I bet the king has heard enough jokes like, I suppose she's your biggest fan. That wasn't it. Actually, Torin is kind of standing on it. Your Majesty, this tile seems similar to others I've seen around Escarpa. Oh, yes, I suppose it is. It was the most popular style a few years ago. May I have it for my collection? But what for? Oh, nothing, I guess. I just kind of liked it. No, not without a very good reason, young man. I kind of like the way Torin talks without moving his mouth in that scene. Anyway, looks like we're going to have to figure out why we need these tiles before we can go back and get that one. But in the meantime, I do have what I need to get the tile that I saw over in the Bitternuts place, so let's go do that. We now return you to the Bitternuts, already in progress. Just a minute! Coming! Do I have to do everything around here? No, she was upset before because the queen never invites her to the ball, so... Now that we've got an invitation, let's go ahead and give it to her. Mrs. B, I just came from King Rupert, and he asked me to give you this. What is it? An invitation to the royal ball. We're going to the ball. Ain't you excited? Oh, he's never been excited in his life. <laughs> Toring, if there's anything we own that you need for your journey, why, just help yourself. It's yours. <laughs> why, thank you, Mrs. B. Of course, I'd love it if you'd take the mister over there. <laughs> Way to hog the scene, Boogle. How would you describe Lena? She's got nothing new to say, so let's just grab that tile and get out of here. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Put that down. That's my best trivet. Aw, oh, Mom, let him have it. You haven't cooked since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's right. Go on, take it. <laughs> But don't go taking anything else, you hear? And good luck on your quest, young man. Hey, any chance of you taking Junior along with you? None whatsoever, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks for the trivet, Mrs. B. Alright, so the new tile is an infantile. And again, it seems to be a uh, roughly symmetrical image to another tile that we got earlier. They seem to be coming in pairs. Hurry, Boog, hop in. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitternut ask. Just hang out till Mom's gone. <laughs> The Better Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. I'm never going back there. I might give you a montage of Bobby Bitter Nuts other Bobby Asks lines for the bonus video, but for now, let's go deal with the vulture. Here, guys. I wondered if you'd like a little something to munch on. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Tripe, you forgot to share again. Oh? Uh, I did? I'm so sorry. Well, now will you move out of the way? No. I would, but I'm afraid he won't. And I don't go anywhere without him. No, well, it was useless. Ooh! Yeah, right. You know, he has only one thing on his mind. His stomach. Maybe some dead meat will come flying by here. You never know. Thank. Oh, wait a second. The dead meat has to fly by. I can't just give it to them. That gives me an idea. First, we just need to go and get more meat. Which, hopefully, has restocked in the meantime. Indeed it has. I'll be sure not to waste this one. And now, back down, but not quite all the way to the vulture's nest. Because right above it, there's this handy ramp. How strange. That ramp juts out even farther than the vulture's nest below it. Well, if that's not a clue, I don't know what is. Hey, Vulture! Try and catch this! Hey, Viscera! Look at that! Fresh dead meat! Flying! Hey, let's go after it! As always, I'm with you. Can't you hurry up a little? It's getting away from us. For goodness sake, for once in your life, can't you just stop and smell the rotting meat? What's that beside that little tree? Yeah, the game helpfully shows us the very, very bottom of the chasm. At least as far down as we can go. And this is where it's important to pay attention to the very right side of the screen. There's a little scroll bar there, which you can use to scroll the screen up and down and see everything. Now we can get a better look. Hmm. If only I could make that tree grow. Well, fortunately I've got something that might work as particularly effective fertilizer. This should either make that tree grow, or kill it completely. And now I just climb down. Looks like some kind of temple. And inside, a sliding puzzle, but with no tiles. Well, I guess the good news is, I've got tiles. And they fit! And I get a point for everyone I put in. But apparently I'm going to need more tiles. At least now I know how many are in the set. And I think I'll just take these with me until I've found all nine of them. You never know. Well, that's everything I have to do down here for the moment. But, at least now we've got a goal. And now, we can head up the staircase that the vulture was guarding. And we're faced with a bit of a gap. Hmm. What in the middle? Oh, I think we can make it, Boog. Yeah. 
Yep, no items, no quest, just jump. Google? Ooh, is that you? No, wait. I think it's coming from up ahead. Uh-oh, Boog. Skunk's ahead. Oh, well, I suppose I gotta get past him. Hey, Skunks, are you there? I'm here. Are you, Max? I'm here too, Sam. And why do you ask? Oh, well, I was, uh, just wondering. Could I pass through your cave? Well, you could try. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's been a while since our last target practice. Yeah, there's a chance, sweet miss. Please, fellas, let me pass. I'm a stranger in a strange land. You got that right. What do you think, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Why don't we put it up for a vote, Max? Good idea, Sam. Okay. All those in favor of letting just any Yahoo go wandering through our domicile, disrupting our comfortable lifestyle, and tracking in that horrible human odor, say I. Yeah, and all those in favor of raisin tail and letting the juices fall where they may, say nay. I. What do I mean? Nay. Nay. Uh, let's see. That's one I, two nays, and one uh, me. The nays happen. Fire at will. Will? I thought he said his name was Tormi. Did he say his name was Torin? Could I persuade you with a gift? A present? A peace offering? An appeasement? Nope. No way! Nada. There's nothing you could offer that would make us move. Well, I guess maybe I can make a run for it. There's no way I'm going in there. That nest smells terrible. Still, there is that opening back there in the distance. It must go somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I can just walk There's in. There's no way I'm going in there. That net. All right. Looks like this is a pretty major obstacle, and I haven't seen any other ways to go. But there must be a solution to this problem, and I'm gonna find it and finish exploring Escarpa next time. See you then.